welcome back. We are talking about reptiles and we're going to start talking about the different groups of reptiles. Um, so there's five. There's um, snakes, lizards, turtles, crocodilians, and then something called a tuatara. And we're actually going to talk about those first because they're very unique. So tuataras can only be found on New Zealand and there's only one species um, left in the the tuatara family. So this is this is a tuatara skull and at some point I will edit in a picture of a tuatara because I don't have one on me. Um, but they have uh, some different features that make them very unique. Now they look a lot like lizards. In fact, they they look uh, quite a bit like iguanas. But they're a much older uh, lineage. So the tutars actually date back, sorry, to the time of the dinosaurs. Um, and so they're kind of primitive. So for example, their their teeth. We can kind of see the ridges. This is this is not a real skull, by the way. This is a replica. Um, their teeth are actually just kind of serrated bone that's fused right into the jaw. They're not separate structures like um, other reptiles. So they can't lose and replace their teeth. Um, as the tuatara gets older and their teeth wear down, they have to find softer prey. And then eventually they're basically just using uh, their jawbone to to chew. They also have something that makes them a little bit different from lizards, these buck teeth up front too that are unique to them. Now what makes the tuatars really special is they have a third eye. So it's not like an eyeball sitting in the middle of their forehead. What they have is at the top of their their head up top they have a very primitive eye um, and it's really only visible on young tuataras. Eventually there's kind of a scale that covers it and it's no longer visible. But what they use uh, that third eye for is still being studied. It's unknown, but a couple of things that are thought um, is that it can basically help tell light and dark, which helps tuataras find uh, better places to either find shade or be in the sun and soak up uh, more of the sun rays, uh, which is really important for a reptile because as we talked about in the first vid video, reptiles are ectothermic. So that helps them warm up faster, which means they are able to um, evade predators sooner and go look for food. So that's one of the advan advantages of the tuatara. All right, so really quick, but there's only one species to talk about but they're really awesome um, and really unique. New Zealand has a lot of very unique, unique animals. I'm going to do this over. 